Hello, I'm Leanne Spar. In this section, we will be discussing whole numbers. The specific objectives we will cover are we will define whole numbers, we will round whole numbers, we will add whole numbers, subtract whole numbers, multiply whole numbers, and divide whole numbers. Now let's begin by defining whole numbers and looking at rules for rounding whole numbers. Whole numbers are numbers that are made up of digits to the left of the decimal point. Now we will discuss rules for rounding whole numbers. In order to round whole numbers, step one, locate the place to which the number is to be rounded. Draw a line under that place. Step 2a, if the first digit to the right of the underlined place is five or more, Increase the digit in the place to which you are rounding by one. Step 2b. If the first digit to the right of the underlined place is four or less, do not change the digit in the place to which you are rounding. Step 3. Change all digits to the right of the underlined digit to zeros. Let's use the rules for rounding to round the following whole number. We will round 55,175 to the nearest 10. To round to the nearest 10, we look at the digit immediately to the right of the tens place. We see that number is 5 or greater. It's a 5. And so we have to go up in the tens spot to an 8. So to the nearest 10, this number will be 55,180. To the nearest 100, we go back to our original number and we look in the hundred spot. We look to the digit immediately to the right of the hundred spot and we see that this digit is five or greater. And so in our hundred spot, we have to go up one digit. So this number rounded to the nearest hundred is 55,200. To round this number to the nearest thousand, we look in the thousands position. We look to the digit immediately to the right of the thousands position. We see this number is not five or greater. It is less than five. So the thousands position does not change. And to the nearest thousand, this number is 55,000. Now we will add whole numbers. In order to add whole numbers, we arrange the numbers in a column, lining up the units, and add. Now let's add 135 plus 594 plus 415 plus 276. We will add the digits 5 plus 4 is 9, plus 5 is 14, plus 6 is 20. So we'll put our 0 there and carry our 2. 3 plus 2 is 5 plus 9 is 14, plus 1 is 15, plus 7 is 22. So we'll place a 2 here and carry this 2 and add 2 plus 1 is 3, plus 5 is 8, plus 4 is 12, plus 2 is 14. So we have a result of 1,420. Now we will subtract whole numbers. In order to subtract whole numbers, we arrange the numbers in a column and subtract. Now let's subtract 62,785 from 445,193. In order to subtract 5 from 3, we have to borrow 1. This becomes 8, and this becomes 13. 13 subtract 5 is 8. 8 subtract 8 is 0. We cannot subtract 7 from 1, so we borrow, and this becomes 4, this number becomes 11. 11 subtract 7 is 4. 4 subtract 2 is 2. To subtract 6 from the 4, we borrow, this becomes 3, and this number becomes 14. 14 subtract 6 is 8. 3 is brought down and our result is 382,408. Now we will multiply whole numbers. 
We will now multiply 7,143 times 295. Starting in the ones place, 5 times 3 is 15, carry the 1. 5 times 4 is 20, adding the 1 is 21. 5 times 1 is 5, plus the 2 is 7. 5 times 7 is 35. We move over to the tens place. 9 times 3 is 27, and we place the 7 in the tens column. So we have 27, carry the 2. 9 times 4 is 36, plus 2 is 38. 9 times 1 is 9, plus 3 is 12, carry the 1. 9 times 7 is 63, plus 1 is 64. We move over to the hundreds place and multiply by 2. Placing the result here in the hundreds place, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 7 is 14. And now we add our numbers, bringing down the 5, 7 plus 1 is 8, 7 plus 8 is 15, plus 6 is 21, carry the 2. 5 plus 2 is 7, plus 2 is 9, plus 8 is 17, carry the 1. 3 plus 1 is 4, plus 4 is 8, plus 2 is 10, carry the 1. 6 plus 1 is 7, plus 4 is 11, carry the 1. And our result is 2,107,185. We will now divide whole numbers. We will divide 13,214 by 7. 7 divides into 13 one time. 1 times 7 is 7, and we subtract. 13 subtract 7 is 6, and we bring down our next number. 7 divides into 62 8 times. 8 times 7 is 56, and we subtract. 62 subtract 56 is 6. We bring down the 1. 7 divides into 61 8 times. 8 times 7 is 56. And we subtract, leaving us with a 5. We bring down our last digit, which is a 4. 7 divides into 54 7 times. 7 times 7 is 49. And we subtract, leaving us with a 5. And we express our remainder as a fraction. So 13,214 divided by 7 is 1,887 and 5 sevenths. In this section, we have discussed whole numbers. Whole numbers are very important in every aspect of your life. If you work at these problems, you can surely do them.